Hello there guys, and welcome to this episode of All Monsters Go to Space. Today I'm going to be talking about the famous Greek mythological being, the Gorgon Medusa. She's normally described as being a winged human female with venomous snakes for hair, and if you were to look at her you'd be turned to stone. Although some depictions have her being a woman with snakes for hair, a human torso, and legs that were in the form of a snake, whether that's two snake tails to represent two legs, or just the one snake tail, and she more resembles the Asian Nagas. Now, she is the daughter of Four Keys and Keto, or as I pronounce them, Four Seas and Sato, and she is one of three Gorgon sisters, Stano and Eurali, who are all children of the two ancient marine deities, the Chthonic monsters from an archaic world, some of the oldest and first deities. Now, ancient artists would depict Medusa as being monstrous, and then from around the 5th century, they began portraying her as both beautiful and terrifying. In a late version of the myth by the Roman poet Ovid, Medusa was one of the most beautiful maidens and the sea god Poseidon desired her and she wanted nothing to do with him. Now one day when she was alone giving an offering in Athena's temple, Poseidon forced himself on her and Athena was angry at the desecration of her temple so she cursed Medusa who she was jealous of to have poisonous snakes for hair and a visage that was so hideous it turned onlookers to stone. Now from the union of Poseidon and Medusa, she gave birth to Pegasus and Cresor when she was killed and beheaded by Perseus, and everybody knows that story. Now Ovid wrote that as Perseus flew away over the god Atlas, he was turned to stone and forever able to hold up the world. Her blood also fell into the Red Sea and created the corals as it landed on seaweed. And as he flew over the Sahara Desert, the blood fell onto the ground and created poisonous vipers. Her head was then eventually given to Athena and she attached it to the famous shield, the Aegis Shield. Her head appears on a Gorgonian device, which is a lot like the evil eye and would deter all evil from coming anywhere near the place. And it's been used many times throughout the art world, from Alexander the Great's breastplate in around 200 BC, even in Leonardo da Vinci's Medusa and Caravaggio's 1597 painting of the same name. And she was even a character in John baptiste Lully and Philippe Quinault's opera Per Se in 1682. Her image is also used on the flag of Sicily, and it implies that they have the protection of Athena. She's also included on the coat of arms for the De Hollis village in the Czech Republic. There are also two snake species that honour her name. The venomous Bothyopsis medusa and the non-venomous Atractus medusa. And in popular culture, she is used as a symbol of Versace, and you can see her face, well, her head primarily, on their glasses, on all their clothing labels. It's a a very famous, well, image, but it's only ever of her head rather than the actual Medusa herself. She's also been depicted in episodes of Doctor Who. She was in Clash of the Titans and was even included in Rick Ryden's Percy Jackson series and Disney's Hercules. And she's been throughout so many other films and stories that incorporate pieces or are heavily inspired by Greek mythology. Well, I hope you liked this very short video. If you do, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!